Hi, and welcome back to Tier 10 to Prem. My name is James, this is the Presec channel. Get over there, get subscribing to all that stuff, but also don't forget to subscribe up there to this channel. We'd love to have you here. Today, I think is going to be a very, very interesting transfer special and also a season review. We haven't got a lot of money at the minute, but I'm planning on selling a few. And let's see what we can do about that, shall we? Let's head on over. Right, here we are with our season review and 2033 now. And we can see that lovely cup. First time winners of the Carabara Cup beautiful beautiful cup we won't be worrying about it again though right let's have a little butchers and oh we've got a little bit of a wait before we find our player but we do know why he's down there well we should know it anyway Cecilio was out on loan all season so it didn't really feature Olivia Ryan Sassignon, another one. We're going to have to try and get some money for him if we can. Keenan Sinclair, first player who actually played some games for us, a 7.27. So some of these lads who are out on loan haven't looked too bad, actually, in 12 games they've all played each. Bit of a strange combo, that is, but I uh, don't know why they've played 12. In fact, Keenan Sinclair scored 12 goals, 4 assists as that shadow striker. So that's interesting. £36 million from Fulham we paid for him. Diego Sanchez. So he actually went out on loan to the end of the season. And £57,000, 7.18. So it did pretty well for us, to be honest. Sandy Gibson, only a C. 54 million pound from Rangers, six goals, four assists, 7.12. Luke Neal, a C plus. A bit harsh there as well, I think. But he was 7.5 million pounds, 40 games he played for us, a 7.10 for Luke Neal, a C. A bit shocked by that one. Alex Raphael, a B minus. Twenty million pounds. He's got that minimum release clause of a hundred and six million pounds. Forty-five games, two as a sub, seven goals, seven assists, seven point oh six. Quite a few sevens there. <laughs> bit of a strange one. Again, a goalkeeper who's out on loan. Tiano, another wonder kid, a B minus there. So he played nine games, 14 off the bench, 11.75 million, four goals, four assists, a straight seven. Stephen Lakeland, an E. Oh, they weren't happy with that one. But he went out on loan, had 12 goals from 14 starts. Elliot Edwards, our central defender, 24 million pound from Leeds. 44, 43 appearances. Three off the bench, two goals, a 6.9. So another one again. We did make some signings last season. Diano Saljevic, £23 million. Pounds, six starts, 24 off the bench, two goals. So Rojas, a B plus. They were happy with that deal. A 19.75 million. No assist, no goals. 10 starts, 5 off the bench. And a couple other players who came in. Oof, Kalu. Kalu. D? Really? We only paid 10 million quid for him. It's potential. It's called potential board. I don't know. Right. Season to remember. A pivotal match. Carabao Cup winners against Tottenham. So, they... Right, you win a cup, 
you get a B, a C, C plus. We're pleased that the team won it, even though it wasn't one of the priorities. Um, be nice just to be a bit happier than that, maybe. First cup, Tiano, three goals, top goal scorer. Average attendance full at 11,377. Board weren't really impressed with that one. FA Cup got to the semi final, a B minus. Okay, a bit happier. Tottenham again, that game, we lost that one. Champions League, B minus. Knockout first round against Real Madrid. Luca was seven goals. Again, full there. Wow. So we're filling the stadium, but we were obviously at a reduced capacity. That should be sorted for this season, hopefully. And the Premier League, an A plus, a delighted top goal scorers. O'Shane Ryman was seven, Monty seven, Alex Raphael seven, and Keenan Sinclair seven. So goals were. We did say actually at the start of the season we needed more goals from elsewhere. Would have liked someone to have been in double figures considering we finished third. But then I suppose there was quite a bit of squad rotation. Moment to remember. Biggest win. 8-4 in the Champions League against Rangers. It was a crazy, crazy game. Match to remember. Beaten Atletico at home. 3-0. And goal of the season. O'Shane Ryman. In this game against MK Dons. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so here he is. Oh, picks it up in the first, in the in her own half. Runs and runs and runs and absolutely smashes it top corner. Yeah. Okay. Quality goal. O'Shane Ryman there. Well done, son. The finances. So, club reputation. Continental four-star. Excellent. No new sponsorship deals, no noticeable new deals. Sponsorship, £27 million is up quite a bit. Broadcast revenue down, corporate slightly down. Prize money more, well, nearly doubled. Matchdale commercial retail down a bit. £2.8 million on merchandise. Alex Raphael... Gibson, Sir Matthew Roberts, Luca and Sinclair as our top selling shirts. Now, that is quite prevalent that the fact that they're nearly all attacking players this time. Amazing. How do we line up? Neil in goal, Sainsbury, Montes, Edwards, Youngs. Yep, Enzo, Raphael, Salisbury? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Ryman, Luca, and Irwin. Okay, it's it's an ish sort of lineup. I would say it's close, but not uh, not fully right. But we'll go with that. The accolades: we won divisional manager of the month of November. Is that it? Well, thank you. Toby Youngs, fans' player of the year, young player of the year. Toby Youngs, Alex Raphael. Signing of the season, goal of the season, Ryman, top goal scorer, Ryman with 13 goals. Toby Young's 15 assists. Wow. And he is back here on loan again this season. Thank goodness for that. Luca, most man of the matches was six. Luca, average rating, 7.2. And Josh Salisbury, 46%. Pass completion per night or well, 46 passes per 90 minutes. Record breaker, Sandy Gibson, 54 million pounds. History in the making, hard work paid off. Carabao Cup against Chelsea. It was Chelsea. I don't know why I said Tottenham earlier on. It was Chelsea, of course it was. Matthew Roberts, Salisbury, and Edwards with the goals. Beautiful. Right. I think, looking at it, uh, squad-wise, I've boosted everyone into here just purely to have a little look at what we've got, who we've got, and I think I need to put it via value. So Luca, 
Borussia and Atletico are after him. Irwin. Norwich. Mm. Ale. Burnley. Anyone else? Zago. Crystal Palace and Fulham are after him. We've also got... Where is he? Yes, this one as well. Norwich and Newcastle are after Karim Shabar. He's a player that we bought in on a free transfer. And he's been loaned out ever since. We can't get a work permit for him. He's a constant goal scorer and appearance maker for Morocco. But we still can't get a work permit. But it looks like Newcastle or Norwich could. So it may be time to cash in £14 million. Pounds. We'll see what we can do with that. But he has got a lot of potential. But again, you know, it's, it's one of those players that he's good, but we've got better. So I think we're going to have to try and cash in on some of these players if we can. And we'll go and skip ahead and see what we can do. So we're through to the 3rd of July now. Um, just a little update on a few signings that we've made. Um, I say a few. <laughs> we've, we've done a bit of business, should we say. So end of last season, obviously there's quite a bit gone through. And director of football has brought somebody in who's yeah, not really halsey. This lad, Emerson Boxhill, somebody we're going to have to get a, a face for. Three and a half star potential, one and a half star current ability, 16 year old. He's a left back, left wing back if you like. Comes in for half a million pounds. And he's just, just got some nice attributes in nice areas. So potential to hopefully build him up get him in to be a fullback, maybe English talent, who knows we'll definitely add towards our quota, if not anything else so that's Box Hill Luca Coleman seven and a half million pounds central defender can be a no nonsense, he can play as any of them to be honest, again another one we're going to sort out a face for, he's a foreign player he's already wanted on loan by Bournemouth but again, six foot six. He's a lefty, so he's got a left foot on him. So that's a nice little option. Argentinian, Luca Coleman. 17 for jumping reach. Determination 17. Again, just somebody who's got nice attributes in nice areas. He's already come in at 9.25 million, so we could sell him for a profit already. But we definitely need more money, that is for sure. We need to do some sales. And five star potential, two star current ability. So probably go out on loan, I should imagine. We've got a couple have gone out on loan as well. And we have sold Rodrigo. 32 million pounds. I said we needed to include, you know, increase the coffers. And Rodrigo, our Argentinian midfielder. Lots of fuss last season from him about not playing and whatever and wanting to play as a Mazala. How on earth he thinks he's going to get ahead of Alex Raphael? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But £32 million worth gone out to Leeds. We're happy with that deal. Now into this season. And you'll see a massive big figure over there. We'll start with that. I said at the start of the video we needed to sell some players. Karim Shabi has gone to Porto for £50 million. It was a bit of a strange one because um, I think it was Norwich and Newcastle had both, no, Fulham, Fulham and Norwich it was, had both bid £35 million for him. We accepted it. We then offered him out again, just in case. And we put it up to 50 million quid. 
and um, Porto come in and said 50 million quid on the button. We're not turning that down for someone who can't play for us. He hasn't got a work permit. So 50 million pounds. Absolutely nuts. But we're happy with that. So we've gone out and splashed a little bit of cash. 29.5 million pounds. 11 million pounds on Milan Janata. Wonder Kid comes in as the quality defensive midfielder that we was looking for. And he can pass. 19 for passing. Unbelievable player, this lad. I think he's got so much potential. He really, really could sit in at the base instead of Enzo, we say. He's only 19. He's Czech Republic. £34 million worth now. Five-star potential. Four-star current ability. Star player who could still improve. I really have got high hopes for him. Look at his polygon. Just aerially. That's the only thing. But we don't want him to do aerially. We want him just to be in there tackling. 15. Get that up, hopefully. He is currently injured for three weeks. Oh, broken ribs. Lovely. Did I say broken ribs? Did I say broken ribs? Broken. Yeah, broken ribs. Right. So that's Janato. Janata. J Janotta? Janotta? We'll go with Janata. Cedric Cordin. Free transfer from Bayern Munich. This was already pre-arranged. A right back. It's an extra right back to give us some more boost down on that side. He's only fifth choice as it stands, which is a bit of a, a strange one. And he is only now two and a half star current uh, potential ability, two star current ability. But again, it's just somebody who can give us an option. This one, I'm not going by star rating. This one, I'm going by the fact that he's just got all of the right stuff in all the right places. And it's just, just a nice signing on a free. He's worth 11 and a half already. 13.25 million pounds on Gaturi Timote. Gaturi Timote comes in as the best player at the club. I am absolutely and utterly over the moon with this. This player had a release clause of £13.25 million. He can play as the advanced playmaker. He can play as the attacking midfielder. But look at this. If he goes out wide, he's still five-star. If he goes on the right, four-and-a-half-star. Central midfield, four-and-a-half-star. So he can play left as that inverted winger or as the... Advanced playmaker, five-star player, 21 years old. He's had one cap and one goal for Brazil so far. We've got him. No one else came in for him. I was absolutely stunned. He's already got English as good lang for his good for language. And just look at him. Just look at the state of him. He really is something to behold. I'm... Super, super excited about this lad. Timote. And Marcel... Marcelo Leighton. This lad, a Chilean, five-star potential, central defender, two-and-a-half-star current ability. Again, six-foot-five, either foot, right or left foot, this lad. Absolutely unbelievable. Jump and reach is 17, heading of 14. I'm just shocked he's not a wonder kid. I just really am shocked he's not a wonder kid. He's got position in a 16. He's just got it all again. It's another beautiful defender. Ball playing central defender, 15 passing already. It's just unreal. So, all in all, at this moment in time, 
we're looking quite good. We've, um, if I go to the club vision, the stadium expansion is now complete. So if we go and have a look at that a minute, facilities, the Mark Goldsworthy Stadium is now complete. 18,951 seats. But we've got an expansion in already. So if we just go back to the vision, we have already asked to expand it again. So mentally, <laughs> we will be going up to a 26,664, which that is in... So completion is is this Christmas. So that'll be good. That'll be good. We've also improved the training facilities. We're also improving the youth facilities. So as it stands again, if we go into the information facilities. So we're now youth recruitment, excellent youth recruitment. Youth coaching is exceptional. Excellent youth facilities, great training facilities, good corporate. So those are all being improved. So that's really good news as well. So it's just nice to see these improvements happening. Right, let's skip on another couple of days, shall we, and see what we can come up with. Lots of irons in the fire at the moment, but um, we'll have to see what comes off. Well... This guy could potentially be the best signing of the season. Pablo Longari. He's been in the job for a few weeks. It's now the 15th of July. He's not been here long. He is an absolute beast of a director of football. Moss is gone, unfortunately. We couldn't keep hold of him. Not with this person being available to us. So we've upgraded our director of football and he has been a busy, busy boy. So the last person we saw was Leighton. Nathan Harris Williams was uh, the first piece of business that he did. And yeah, I'm not too fussed about that one. But Julian... Think, I think that's what we're going, to, we're going to pronounce it. Julian Fink, Thinky, Thinky. Oh my goodness! I don't know how he's done it, but he got this lad in for us. Four and a half star current ability, five star potential, twenty year old. German international wonder kid. He's come in for 38 million. He's got a load of money on the never never with add ons. So it's only cost us 38. But he is an absolute animal. Six foot, shoots with power, comes deep to get the ball, advanced forward, complete forward, deep line forward, false nine. Trick with Tista, he can play the lot can also go out on the wing and be four and a half stars. Unbelievable player, this lad. I just... Look at his polygon. He can't defend, but that's not what he's here for. He will be an absolute beast for us. Agility, balance, 20-20. Determination, 20. I'm sure some of these others are going to boost up to 20 as well. And 17 for acceleration and pace. He's already worth £84 million. Pounds. Oh, I, I, the only concern is he's on 230 grand a week. I think our wage bill's getting a bit high, don't you? But it's one of those ones that we're happy to do. Alberto Zago has gone out to West Brom for £10.5 Nathan Ellis gone out on loan with the potential 
five million pound transfer to Reading. So again, another one got him off the wage bill. Olivia's gone out again. Central midfielder, wonder kid. Cherokee has gone off as well. Another Moroccan that we had. Again, another one who couldn't get a work permit, but he's not quite developed or been offered 50 million quid for him yet. So we are buzzing, absolutely buzzing with our new director of football. And um, hopefully he can pull off some more surprises for us. Well, this is definitely the best window we have ever had in the history of Mausel AFC. Aidan Cameron has gone to Sheffield Wednesday for £1.1 million. We were trying to sell him for 15 last season, but he was nearly out of contract and we've got a shot of him. Albo Ale is gone. £30 million to Brighton. Couldn't turn it down. Couldn't turn it down. £30 million. It was just... A no-brainer when you see this signing in a second. Yes, our director of football has been at it again. Ricky Horton Gore. Five-star potential, four and a half star current ability, English left back. Now, you might say, hang on a minute, haven't you got Toby Youngs? Well, he's only here on loan, isn't he? Director of football, he done this deal. He got it through, 125 grand a week. He's had 33 caps for England. He's 22 years old. It's just unbelievable. He pushed the deal in. And what a deal it is. You might have seen it already. £80 million. Pounds. So we have sold so far... £92 million pounds worth, and we have spent £148 million. So it's absolutely mental. I don't know where on earth he's getting these players from, but this lad, Pablo Bellissimo. No, that's, that's Italian, isn't it? He's Spanish, I think, or Portuguese, whatever it is. But this lad... He needs a good handshake, I tell you. If I could give him... I could marry him, the players he's getting. Well, it's gone and happened again, hasn't it? Ralph Hasenhul has been sacked by England. And they've given me... Well, given me the option to have the job again. We ain't doing it. The save has got nothing to do with England. We're not doing it. So we've turned it down again for the second time. If it comes up for a third time... And we're that far in. I, I can't see it, to be honest. I cannot see it. There's no point. We're here to do Mausel. Forget what I said. Let's go and make some more sign-ins. Well, there's another week gone by. And another end of an era. Craig Rennie has gone to Bournemouth for £1.2 million. Pounds. Again, just a player that was in and around the squad but didn't play a game last season. And even more exciting news, we went to the board. Improve youth recruitment. So old status was excellent youth recruitment. We're now exceptional youth recruitment. We've also, what else did we do? I'm sure there was something else we tried to get pushed through. There's another player going. There's another player going. £3.8 million. Bruno Biscup is going to Cardiff. So it's just... But looking at the, the facilities now, exceptional, exceptional, excellent, great. It's just nuts. It's now the 30th of July. And... If we have a quick look at the team report, 
squad depth. So Neil and McLeod, there's not a lot between them, half a start. Left back now is absolutely exceptional. Four and a half star. Toby Young's is down to two and a half stars. And Horton can actually play as a central defender. Not that we're going to play him there. Right back. Maybe a weak spot. Maybe. Sainsbury, two and a half star now. But if we go to the diamond, we can see that Janotta is four star. He's gone way above everyone else for that defensive midfield role. Timotei, Alex Raphael, Janotta, all in that midfield. Timotei there again, four and a half star. Look at that. Think. Four and a half star. Gibson, three and a half star. So those could be our two starters. Luca and Irwin look are slipping down the order. And poor old uh, Sir Matthew Roberts might not even make the bench this season. So we've got some more people gone out. Like I said, Bruno Biscup, £3.8 million. Pounds. Ewan Sutherland. Player that we had ages ago. I think he even come. Did he come through the youth team? Came from Siren Sester for a, for one thousand pounds. We've sold him for two hundred and fifty thousand pounds to Hearts. And Ryan Sessignon, half a million pound to Portland. So more money. So we're nearly up to a hundred million pounds. It's absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy times. But we're now at the 1st of August and looking at the fixtures, so we haven't done too bad in pre-season so far, but we've still got another two weeks before the season starts. And I, I'm just thinking, you know, dynamics now is good, club atmosphere excellent, there's no issues with anybody. We did actually sign Irwin up to a new contract. Just to, just to keep the players, just keep the squad. I think it's going to be a squad game this 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 season. It's going to be we've got to have a good good play around and sort things out that we need to do. I think we'll skip on a little bit further. Maybe even if we can find another right back. But looking at it, Diego Sanchez, four and a half star potential, two and a half star current ability. I've got a sneaking suspicion we might have found our right back because this lad is looking exceptional. I've really, really got some high hopes for him. And same, who else did we have come through that was out on loan? There was someone, hang on a minute. Yes, Stephen Lakeland. We definitely got sort of faces out. We ain't got enough faces at the moment. Two star current ability, so he's got to go out on loan again. I think five star potential. But look, he has done an absolute and utter unbelievableness with his ratings. He really has done a Toby Pickering. That is our first ever player that we had who really did boost on. And this lad. That's got massive, massive potential. So, I might try and get him out on loan again, but uh, it might be the only bit of business to be done now. Because looking at it, like I said with the squad report, we are looking very, very tasty indeed. And we might even have to move on some of these potential fringe players, as they may be called now. So we've uh, got through to the day before the first game of the season and we've sold off a load of clauses and other bits and pieces and we're trying to get Powell because for the first time ever, Justin Powell is available for Manchester United. It's going to cost a bit, but uh, we'll see. But it's all in all, it has been a rather exceptional transfer window 
And looking at the squad now, if you look on ability and potential ability, we've now got three players. Three players that are four and a half star. And I haven't actually looked at this. So this will be a first for all of us. I don't normally bother, but season preview. We've got three players in the Dream 11. Horton Gore, Guterri Timote, and Fink. Three players. Unbelievable. And we're predicted to be eighth. That's why I don't bo normally bother with this screen. It's absolute garbage, isn't it? You know, it really is just what... They make it up as they go along with it, really. And I don't know, I'm just... What do you think? Has that been a good transfer window? Well, to me, boys and girls, that has been the best transfer window I've been involved in in a long, long time in Football Manager throughout, not just 21... To have a director of football like that who can push through a deal with our board, if I went to ask for the money, it will be a flat no. Got him to deal with it, he dealt with it, and we've still got about 30 million quid in the transfer kitty with all the clauses and stuff we've sold. And we probably could push that up to nearly 50 if we managed to negotiate with the wages and one more player, and that could be Yestin Powell. But we will be back for the next game, which will be Watford in the opening game of the season. And hopefully we can push on from there. See you soon.